I'm pretty sure that most of you have heard of dropshipping, right? It's where you basically get a partner like Amazon or Alibaba, and you then sell products that you don't really have stock of, but when someone places an order, you then order from your partner, ship it directly to the customer, and then make your little cut off of that sale. Now, dropshipping has been big for a long time, and while it's possible to make quite a lot of money from it, it has become a lot more difficult with the margins getting a lot smaller and tighter and it is highly competitive these days. So I wanted to introduce you to something which I've seen really getting a lot of success. I know some people that do this and they make a ton of money and that is in drop servicing. Now drop servicing is basically using freelance networks like Fiverr or Upwork and partnering with a few freelancers in a chosen niche and then building a website where you can then offer a service in this chosen niche and then use your freelance partner to fulfill that service and you then make your money from the margin of the service that you're offering. As an example, if you want to provide a service for 3D animation and you say my rate is $10 per hour and you find a freelancer that charges $7 an hour, you're gonna make $3 an hour from the service. So it can be highly profitable with very little work to be done. You just need to partner with the freelancer, set up a website, set up your registration, run a few ads so that you get the customers to you quickly. And you might be overwhelmed with this and think this is a lot. Well, don't worry about that because in this video, I am going to show you the five steps very quickly on how to set this up in one day so that you can already after day one, start getting those sales in. And as a bonus, I am also going to share with you what the top number one niche is right now that is highly lucrative for you to then start with that niche and make as much money as possible. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So the first thing that you need to do is go into your Google and then type in either Fiverr or Upwork. These are the two big freelance platforms that a lot of people use. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Fiverr. Okay, so now we are in the Fiverr platform and the first thing that you could do is just set up an account. It's takes very, very quick to do it and it's completely free. And once you're in your account, we now need to start with step one of setting up your drop servicing business. And that is to choose a niche that you are going to focus on as the service that you offer to clients. Now, you'll be pleased to know that it is almost limitless and the niches that you can find are all here at the top. So you can go into graphics and design, programming and tech. So you could, for example, uh, offer scripting um, and APIs and integrations. You, you could offer coding as a service. And we all know that coding is a very high demand uh, thing. Even AI services, that is available right now. But as a wild example, I'm just going to say, let's do a business where, uh, oh, this is pretty cool. I will, pat this is like patents. We'll, we will protect your brand through trademark registration. So you can register trademarks for businesses for, let's say they, the freelancer charges $40. So you could charge $100. And any time that a business uses you, you make a $60 profit. All right, let's say we are then going to be a uh, trademark registration business. Uh, now what we need to do is click on a few freelancers that offer the service. So I'll go to this gentleman over here, Mr. Shahab. And the first thing I want to do is get in touch with him and say, hey, I might have a few projects for you. Are you able to give me a special rate? So you can get in touch with Mr. Shahab and send him a message saying, Heart emoji. But now, if you're wise, you want to get hold of a few different providers that offer this trademark registration. So there are two more over here. One is for twenty-five dollars. One's one is for five dollars. So you can charge $50 and you'll make a $45 profit. All right, so get in touch with a few of them, see what they offer. What we need to know is that they are dependable. This one has 1,806 five-star ratings. So I would definitely use Mr. Shahab. So then you've got your partner sorted, okay? But now 
you want to advertise yourself as a business that can do the trademark registration for any business. And I think he does the registration in the US. Uh, oh, you can choose the US, the, the uh, UK, the EU, um, for many different countries. So as a business, you can then say this. Now, we're going to come to stage. Oh, hold on. Stage two was getting in touch with uh, your uh, certain freelancers and then choosing which freelancer to partner with, right? But now we're going to go to stage three, which is your domain registration for your business. So what we're going to do is go to a site like Namecheap. Um, and Namecheap is a very uh, affordable, where is Namecheap? Uh, there we go. It's a very affordable platform to register a domain name. So we could call our business something like uh, trademark, right? <laughs> trademark registration um, global or something like that. And then we can search and see if it's available. Uh, trademark registration global. So Namecheap will have a search and they'll see, okay, what's available? Trademark registration global is actually available and uh, it costs $10 a year. But we got a whole lot of others. But it's amazing. I didn't think that Trademark Registration Global would be available. I might just register this right now so that I can do it myself. Okay, so now we've got our domain registered. Now we're going to go to part four, which is setting up the website. Now, you might think, oh, how am I going to set up a website? It's going to take so long. Do I need to pay someone to create this website? No. Guys, you're watching the AI money maniac, which means we make money using the power of AI. Woo! So what we are going to do is go to a website called durable.co. So it's durable.co, uh, not .com. Dur durable.com takes you to like a news site. So it's got to be, be durable.co. Now durable.co is an AI website that will generate you a beautiful website in your chosen niche. So I'm going to move my face just to show you what's happening. And we're going to go generate your website. And I'll show you how quickly it goes. What type of business are you building? So we're building a business that does trademark, uh, trademarking, trademarking. We're going to say it's located globally, but for the purpose of this one, let's just say London, UK. Uh, because it does offer in the UK as well. And then what is the name of the business? So we are going to say it is trademark, trademark registration global. And just like that, we generate the website. Guys, wait until you see how this is. It's amazing. I can't wait. Boom. And just like that, we have our brand new website generated with AI. Now have a look at this. So trademark registration global, introducing trademark registration global, your trusted partner for trademarking services. Based in London, United Kingdom, we specialize in helping businesses protect their intellectual property with seamless trademark registration. Our expert team of professionals will help you. So we've got our service here, right? And it's got some pictures. I see they've got McLaren, Lamborghini. So we may just need to customize this and change the images to to make it, I don't know what the legality is with having like real brands on here. Um, so you, you should probably check that out before um, before using it. But as you can see, trademark portfolio management, trademark dispute resolution. So again, we would now need to look at all these services that Durable has put together and then ask our freelancer whether he can actually do all of these services. So make sure, and you can even show the freelancer the website and say, hey, listen, I'm going to be bringing you a lot of business because it's, it's like a drop servicing thing. So just, you know, let me know if you offer these services or not. And then we've got a testimonial here as well. And obviously, we just need to make sure that there is a, uh, a contact form that we can include here. They do uh, link some social media, but obviously, we will customize and then we can add. Oh, they want me to register. But anyway, once you register, you can add a contact form. And once that's done, you can then publish your website. And now once it's published, it will come up with a weird URL where it will say trademark registration global, but at the beginning it will say durable. So you may need to go onto the durable paid plan to have your own domain, which is then this one over here. This will just make your business look a lot more professional 
and people take it more seriously. So if you don't want to pay for that, if you just want to run the site with a random URL, you can do that as well. But I would highly recommend that you use your registered domain and link it to then your AI generated website. Now, you've got your freelancer, you've got your, your service, you've got your name and, and domain registered, and you've got your brand new generated website. That leaves us with step five, which is how are you going to get customers to your website? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now using the power of Google advertising. What you need to do if you haven't run Google ads before in your life, I will make this very simple so that you can follow everything step by step. And if you have run Google ads before, I'll also keep it very simple and concise so that you can see the exact method to get traffic to your website in a very cheap and easy way. So the first thing you need to do is type in Google ads for anyone who hasn't got a Google ads account and then click on Google ads and set up your account. Now, once you set up your account, you'll come into something that looks like this. Now to create an ad to drive traffic to your website, we'll need to go to create here on the left and create a campaign. Now, once we're on the creator campaign, we want to drive website traffic to our website so that we can get as many people to use our service as possible. So we'll click on website traffic and you can then set the goal. I've already got my goal for my website set as submit lead form. So this is a, a goal that you can set up on your conversions to then optimize for people to submit a lead form. So we'll do that. And then you're going to select a campaign type. Now, I would highly recommend that we select the first one, which is Google search. Then you will need to put on your website here. So trademark registration global.com. And we can just call it search. That's fine. Then we go agree and continue. Now, we want to focus on clicks. We will start by focusing on clicks. It'll be the most cost effective and get the most traffic in there. So we'll just say we want clicks and we go next. Then very important, you need to be using the search network only. So we will switch off the display network and then we can target the exact countries that we are serving the ads in. So as we saw with our freelance partner, he's serving in the United States. He's serving in the United Kingdom. Just to make it um, not too widespread, I'm just going to target these three countries. And then very important, say people in or regularly in targeted locations. Google always defaults to this one, but we don't want people that are interested in the country. We want people that live there that are looking to trademark their brands in those countries. Then we go to next at the bottom and we type in a few keywords here. Now, this is where it gets really uh, interesting is that we want to appear for anyone who's typing in Trademark registration or register a trademark for my business. So we will type this in then. trademark registration, how to register a trademark. And what we are doing here is we are typing in things that we think that the customers who would want to use our business will type into Google when they are searching for something. Because what will happen, and I'll quickly show you, is if I go into a brand new tab, then I type in agent or agency that will register my trademark. And if I type this into Google, look what happens. I get a whole lot of companies. And when it says sponsored here at the top, it means it's a Google ad. So trademark here, Macaria, JPEG, legal, all these companies are trademark registration companies, right? And so when we are running these Google ads, we will then come up as one of these options here. And when someone clicks it, they go straight through to our website. So going back to this over here, we can see, and, and what did I actually type? I typed an agency that will register my trademark. So we want to come up for that. And when it's something that's quite long, 
And let me just fix this typo. When it's something that comes quite long, one thing that I would highly recommend is that you put it into phrase match, which means you are putting inverted commas uh, on the, the start and the end of the sentences because then you're not allowing Google to go too broad because uh, when it's in phrase match, then we're telling Google we want to target people that are typing in um, most of these words in here. Uh, because if it's in broad match, which means without the uh, inverted commas, then what that means is that uh, Google, they will most likely show you as to anyone that types an agency that will register a name or agency that will register, uh, I don't know, my employment documents. So we want to have it in inverted commas, agency that will register my trademark. And so we type a few of these in here. And what that will mean is that our ad will show up to people that are looking for our service. And once that is done, we then need to create the ads. So we can basically say uh, best trademark registration, etc. And you can throw in a whole lot of things for your ad here. And here you can see they already start to put your ad together. So you'll see trademark registration global.com, best trademark registration. And once this is all ready, then you can publish it. Hold on, where's publish? At the bottom. So you'll go next. They're going to give me error now because I, I didn't finish. But um, you can then click next and then it will publish. And just like that, then you will have ads that will be showing up for any person in the chosen geography that you've chosen for your niche that when they type for your service, they go to your brand new, beautiful, custom-built AI website. And whenever they contact you saying, hi, I need a trademark registration, then just ensure that you're putting a nice margin in between the cost that you're paying your freelancer and the price that your customer is paying you. So again, as an example, if the freelancer charges you $50, then you could charge maybe $100. So every time someone contacts you and requests a trademark registration, you then earn $50 basically for doing nothing. You're just the middleman or middle lady that is doing the setup of the business. And so it, it's just amazing. I think that drop servicing is way cooler than drop shipping. And I think that you can have a lot higher margins as well to make more money on it. Now, Last thing, I did promise you that I would share with you the number one most lucrative niche right now going into 2024. And so I do need to give a shout out to the Drop Servicing Blueprint channel uh, because, and by the way, if you're looking to learn more about drop servicing and really get good at it, I would highly recommend uh, following these guys. Again, I don't know them. I've got no affiliation, uh, but this is where I learn all my stuff about drop servicing. And they have had their finger on the pulse and following the industry very closely. And what they have found to be the number one lucrative drop service right now is 3D animation for the medical industry. So this is medical animation. So you know when you're watching like medical videos and they show you like 3D animation of the lungs or the heart or something like this. This is a service that Fiverr freelancers are offering and doing all of this and people are paying a lot of money for it. It's mostly like medical device companies and that sort of thing that are paying a lot of money for 3D medical modeling. And this is a service that very good Fiverr freelancers are offering. So there we have it, guys. I did promise you I'd share that with you. And yeah, if you're more interested in drop servicing, uh, don't follow my channel. My channel is just about finding the, the newest and best ways to make money with AI. But if you are very interested in drop servicing in particular, go give that channel a follow. And also, if you like my content, check me out as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe. And if you do like this content, stay tuned. I am always trying to stay on top of what is the latest trends for making money with AI. So yeah, stay safe, stay strong. It's a crazy world out there at the moment. Uh, yeah, just spread the love and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.